All right, guys, today we're gonna head over to Chubby Cattle, and my wife and I are gonna celebrate uh, a late birthday for myself and hopefully enjoy some K barbecue. Um, I heard some great things about it. My wife said there's a lot of uh, Wagyu and really premium meats. So we're looking forward to getting the highest end all you can eat and sharing with you guys our experience. I am definitely not a Wagyu person. I mean, personally, I can't eat like five pounds of Wagyu. Maybe, maybe just like a half pound or something. Uh, it's not really gonna be something that I'm gonna do all you can eat. I prefer American Wagyu if I'm gonna do a Wagyu. But, you know, again, I, I still prefer like a good, you know, a good prime cut of like ribeye or porterhouse. Um, even a good brisket, like you can find a good cut. Uh, it just depends on your butcher. So this is a all you can eat barbecue. We have us three menus, silver, gold, and diamond. Silver will include all the hot dish, all the American wagyu, sushis, and the seafood. So diamond will cover everything silver offered, but I give you more choice for the wagyus, like the Japanese A5, Australian 9, more premium wagyu all you can eat, and also on top of that, uh, each of you can enjoy two special meats and a true special dish for each of you. Copy. Yeah, and the, all the drinks in the dispenser, all the self-serve bar, including all the rice, up there. Self-serve, we don't, we just go, you, you don't, okay. Yes, sir, you order anything like here, but all the sides, you, you will grab yourself, around. So we're gonna do, why don't we just do all six? Ah, I see, I see, I'm, I'm tripping. Okay, and then we'll do this. Okay, four again. For grasses or uni caviar. Okay, and then diamond hot dish. Wow, there's a lot. They even have bibimbap. They have a lot of Korean stuff. That's great. It's like a Korean Japanese place. Wagyu Shaolong Bao. Let's try that. Wagyu pork dumplings. Um, let's do. I'm gonna pass on a lot of the carbs fillers. And we'll do some tactical moves today. Oh, they also have sushi. Oh, there's a timer. So after you send an order to the kitchen, there's a there's a cooldown. What? All right, so we're gonna begin with the scallop. There's one with caviar on it and one with uni on it. Which one does my baby want? I'll take the other one. So I'll take the one with uni. That's my favorite. All right. Grab your, we'll do a cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you. Delicious. Oh, Very delicious. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. It's wonderful. It's really rich. Don't forget to try our steaming sauce. Got a barbecue there. The tonsil sauce. Pepper sauce. Okay. Thank you. 
kemas manis. That's how we normally cook it. If you don't like it, uh, it's too raw. You can still cook a little bit after. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I love it raw. So. So rich. Why do meats are? It's like 40% fat. So just imagine like a super ribeye. This is delicious. I don't know what this is, but this is delicious. It has a little bit of uh, super greens and then has some um, yeah. caviar in it. So it's got like a uni, caviar, and wagyu. I mean, it's basically the, the holy trinity, basically. So this is for you, buddy. This is very spicy, honey, so you're gonna have to eat it. This is super spicy, but it's delicious. What is this? What did we order? I don't, I don't remember ordering this. I don't know. It has wagyu inside, so. Wagyu inside, and it's got like this chili on it. Which I'm not a fan of, but... We'll, dr we'll drench it in the ponzu sauce. I think the one thing that I'm kind of shocked that we're not seeing here is that... When you go to Japan, they actually have like just the yolk of the egg, and you can make a sauce with that. It's more of a traditional Japanese sauce. So my wife brought some uh, panchan. Uh, this is octopus wasabi, so we'll try this one first. Very wasabi, but not to the point where like my sinuses are, are all cleared. Um, and this is abalone in the middle. No, it's octopus. Well, octopus. And then kimchi. And then kimchi. Yeah. See if the kimchi is up to par. Wow. It's a Korean style kimchi, not not Chinese style. Okay. Let's try the zucchini. It's like zucchini with uh, like some peppers. Uh, I guess we're supposed to put it on the grill. I thought they were pickled, but I was supposed to put it on the grill. Which is interesting. I, I honestly thought, in the picture, it looks like it's pickled. And this sauce is for the lamb? Is that the lamb sauce, or what is this? My wife makes the best sauces. Wow, that's amazing. That's really good. Yeah? It's really good. It's like a Chinese sauce. I love it. The Chinese are very good with their peppers. They're really a different level when it comes to peppers. And these zucchinis are gonna have to wait. The shrimps look amazing. I'm not sure what kind of marinade they put on there, but it's definitely not something I've seen before. Terrible. 
my favorite shit. Go walk. Oh, wow. This is actually genius that they make it like that, so it can it can be stable inside the actual plate, right? So, like the way the tong is shaped, this is kind of ingenious. I mean, Koreans have a lot to learn. Sir, are we doing okay here? We're doing excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's getting cray cray. Heavy on the peppers, a lot, lot of a uh, lot of spice. Um, it's a little different from like the Middle Eastern spice, but similar, similar but a little different. And I don't know how to describe it. But then the other Japanese, this kind of reminds me of the one on one sushi. Their lamb also has a similar, similar kind of uh, seasoning. All right, guys, I'm really excited for this one. This is a uh, wagyu tartar. So Koreans, we have something very similar. It's called yukhe. So I, it has a very similar marinade, soy sauce, egg yolk, sesame seeds, sesame oil. And it's got the truffle potatoes. Uh, this is this is a Lay's product. Uh, it's imported, I believe, from Japan or it's from China. Uh, I don't think it's available in the US market, but you can find it in an Asian grocery store. So it's a little bit of a greenish hue, like a military OD green. Wow, this kind of, I, I don't know if I can eat that. What is it? Just, just tastes really like weird. It doesn't taste as good as the green one. It's because it's missing like the hair. It doesn't have like an acid to cut through the meat. It's not as bled, yeah, it's, it's just very fleshy. It's, it's not very balanced. Yeah. So we'll do the, we'll do these first. Which one is this one? That one's the Australian and I top lot. So this one, do we dip it in this sauce first and cook or after? You could. However, we recommend you cook the meat first. And then dip it. And then when the meat's ready, dip in there. Copy. Because the pastry egg has a unique uh, buttery taste to the meat. Ah, uh, okay. Right? You dip it after. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I think for me, this is a great experience. I, th I think what's fun for me is that a lot of these meats you're not going to find at a Korean barbecue place. It's similar, but they're not really the same. Like the Wagyu? The Wagyu is different. Wagyu? Even, even the other, like the brisket meat, uh, the pork belly, it's... It's different. Like the way they cut it is different. Um, obviously, the, this is the, they're designed to be eaten in like one bite. Whereas some of the Korean stuff, you know, they're a little bit chunkier. Um, also, the most of the wagyu slices are ultra ultra thin, so just a different experience, right? It's like it's almost like eating like chador um, begi, which is the brisket. Uh, when you go to a Korean barbecue, it's really, really thin. But obviously, this is much, much higher quality than a chatbegi. I'm gonna give it one last try. I just feel like I need to give it a second chance before I. Yeah, 
definitely... It's missing some acidity. I'm missing some freshness. I think I'm too spoiled with the Korean one. I really haven't found a tartar that I like more than the Korean one. All right, guys, we just finished our birthday meal here at uh, Chubby Cattle, Roland Heights. Um, man, it was definitely uh, not what I expected. I expected it to be similar to KBBQ, uh, but JBBQ is definitely a little bit more fancy. Uh, we had a little bit of caviar. Uh, we had obviously lots of Wagyu. Um, some of the some of the highlights and lowlights, you know, if I want to share with you, I, I, I would say that the highlight was the Wagyu. It was like a Wagyu roll with caviar and uni. I mean, that's like, basically it's the holy trinity. I mean, if you go to any like Michelin place, they're gonna have something similar to that where it's gonna be a, a premium cut of meat with uni and, and caviar. That's that's a very common uh, kind of take on, on presentation of uh, a rare or sliced, thinly, rarely sliced meat uh, with some caviar and some uni. It really makes it buttery. It has a little bit of um, umami with the caviar, a little bit of fishiness. It really rounds it out. So that was actually my favorite, favorite dish, but unfortunately you only can get two of them uh, per person with the uh, diamond member status. Um, the Argentinian red prawns, they were delicious. I probably had like 10 of them. Uh, they're just, I mean, my favorite is the, the heads. I love prawn heads, shrimp heads. I mean, if I could just eat the heads and just throw away the, the tails, I, 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 I would, really. Um, I also like the Australian Wagyu. The Australian Wagyu, it comes with a little bit of uh, yolk on the side, it's kind of an emulsifier. So the, the, our, our server, Nick, was kind of recommending that for us to cook, cook the Wagyu, Australian Wagyu first. And then once it's cooked to your, to your liking, uh, dip it into that yolk and then try that's very very authentic yeah it's just egg yolk yeah but you can add you can add your own soy sauce to it so what i did was i mean i didn't technically do it but i dipped it in the panzu and then i dipped it in the uh, in the in the, in the yolk so anyways um some low lights you know i would say it's, it's the thicker cuts you know unfortunately i thought you know wagyu it's hard to find a thick cut of wagyu right that's it's because it's expensive and they're always thinly sliced because they're so heavy and fatty so I was looking forward to the thicker slices of a short rib and also the top blade, but unfortunately they weren't that good. And when you order those, they come in like a huge serving. I mean, it's not huge, but compared to the other cuts where it's like three like or four super slim thin slices, you have to wait like 15 minutes to order again for the cooling down period. That's another thing. So yeah, I mean like, uh, the, the thinner cuts, or the, I don't wanna say thinner, the better cuts, they give you less of. And then the cheaper or the ghettoer cuts or the, the cuts that are not as nice, they're gonna give you more of. So that's a pretty good indication of uh, whether you wanna order that again, okay? So if they give you a lot of it, that means it's probably something that might wanna just order one. Uh, if they give you three tiny little slivers, uh, you might wanna order two or three of those, okay? Oh, wow. So my wife is mentioning that uh, the Monterey Park um, branch of Chubby Cattle has a different menu. Even their presentation, my wife was saying, it's a little different. It comes in like a little box. And they also have the Wagyu Cubes. That's one item that they did not have here at the Roland site. And they also have lobster tails and abalone. So uh, we're definitely gonna hit that place up. You know, as a member, you get $10 off for two people at any of these um, Chubby Cattle branches locations and you get free beer if you're a diamond member at the monterey park site um yeah i don't i don't really drink so it doesn't apply to me but i'm sure my wife would enjoy that yeah she'll enjoy that a lot um let's see uh another low light you know the low light there wasn't that many it's really those like the top blade and the short rib you know i, I really felt like it was too thick uh, it wasn't really that tasty um i probably would pass on those um and Definitely, I learned a lot here today. Um, J Barbecue is different from K Barbecue, KBBQ, and I would say, I mean, dare I say, it's a, it's a notch better. It's a little bit more luxe. Put in the comments below, KBBQ or J BBQ. Let me know, bro. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, thanks for watching us, watching me eat on my birthday. Uh, I just want to say thank you to my wife. She's awesome and. If you made it this far, please give us a like and subscribe. Comment below because we do read all the comments and be safe and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. And also this, this location is a very 
very good look good location because this is diamond plaza at one point this plaza was actually gonna die but now it's really kind of revived we have young money coming in chubby cattle uh, there's a korean bakery lots of little boba spots and tea spots that really uh kind of brought this uh plaza back to life yeah, and I mean, I think the best part is we didn't have to wait. You know, I, I think I think typically in, in J barbecue or K barbecue spots, you're gonna have to wait like an hour. Typically, a, a good place like this, uh, but we fortunately came at, at like post dinner time, and we were seated right away. It's also the Lord's Day. It's also Sunday, so um, we missed a little bit of football, but it's all good. That's why we have NFL Plus, and we can watch the replays. This is definitely not an ad for NFL Plus, but if they want to sponsor me, I will gladly take it. I love football. I'm a nut. A football nut.